Hi everyone, today we're going to be replacing the air filters in a Mercedes E350 4Matic 2006, which is the same model and body from 2002 to 2009. Right. So you remember I told you the last car project we did was a clean hands project. This one is definitely a dirty hands project. So I'd recommend that you put on some kind of a disposable glove because your hands are going to get dirty by touching different parts of the car for this project. Okay, so when you have your gloves on, we're going to walk over to the front of the car and push the button on the key or inside to open the hood and then pull out the little tab and open the hood. I know, it's such hard work. All right, so now let's take a look at what we got underneath the hood. So this first main plastic piece, we're going to remove just by lifting off. It's a Okay, so to get started, we're going to, as I said, remove this front part of plastic that has the V6 Mercedes symbol on it and kind of looks like it has built-in cup holders. So it's just a little piece of plastic and just pops right off and put that to the side because we will need it again and get in there. Okay, so the next step is locating these things that look like hoses. We have two of them. So we're gonna start from this side and just pull it off like a vacuum. And then this little guy, a tube with an arrow, he's gonna get pulled out. And then the third. Okay, and now I'm going to come around to the side and remove this big plastic case. So there's a little lever back here, metal piece pushes back, and then I'll come around to the front and picking it up from down right. So now I'm going to take this whole big thing and pull it off. <laughs> it's, it's on there good. You can have a strong man come remove it for you. So now it's heavy <laughs> even if you're not trying to remove it. <laughs> Keep that in mind. It's like it weighs about 500 pounds. I'm like super strong. So we're going to flip it over and then get some tools. So the tool that you'll be needing to perform this highly skilled task is called a torque screwdriver. So it looks like a screwdriver that someone cut the tip off of. And you find the correct size and then start unscrewing so there's one here there's like four or five that need to come out of each side we have screw number two Screw three. Screw four is in the back. Okay, so once everything is unscrewed, you can lift this container out and I'll take it away from the car so we don't lose the screws and flip it over. And you can see right in here is your air filter. So now we take a brand new package filter. And we'll show you how nice and clean brand new that is. And pop out the old one. Nastiness. And then we can even like pour some gunk in there and then all right so we wiped out the hard gunk and now we're going to pop in the new filter yeah, so how do we 
<laughs> so we're going to pop in the new filter. Just like so. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to place this right back into the area that we took it from. going to repeat the same exact procedure on the other side and also you can learn with this screwdriver it goes in two directions and your wrist doesn't have to so I'm gonna flip up the little switch and now it's set to unscrew and it's like tick 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 and I don't have to turn my wrist or let go of the screwdriver because it does it itself on the second filter and the previous one was dumped at an earlier time so this one you're going to get a really good glimpse at all of the nastiness that the filter protects you from so that's that's one thing but look at this i mean there's like bugs and dirt it's a bee, actually. As a matter of fact, would you look at that? Wow, my filter protected me from breathing in a bee. That's the best filter in the world. and secure it in place. So I did a screw on top and now I'll do one on the bottom. Then one on top. And then I'll go back to the top. And then to the bottom. So we had four screws on each side. going to take this and flip it back over to the position that we originally started in, making sure that this securely attaches to the other filter grate. So, I'm going to lift and flip, and just kind of adjust these little tubes and then come to the side and... Okay, so once you see that this is in the right position, you just want to make sure that these are secured where we started and then our little middle tube also goes right over the area that we pulled it from. So that's good. All three tubes are in place. And to seal the deal, we're going to take this with its little built-in cup holder and
So we are in place and I'm just going to push it down. Ta-da! And that is how you change the air filter in your Mercedes E350 Formatic. And that is how you change the air filter in your Mercedes E350 Formatic. See, I told you it was a dirty hands job. So now we'll get rid of our nasty gloves and you're nice and clean. Have a great day.